Greetings, people of Earth. My name is Rob Wheeland. I am an author, game designer, and professional nerd. My pronouns are he, him, and tonight, I am the host of Theater of the Mind Players, your friendly local actual play show. Maps. <laughs> <laughs> Great, they're harmonizing. Um, tonight, we are playing Trinity Continuum Aberrant uh, from Onyx Path Publishing. It is a game of modern uh, superheroes uh, struggling against uh, both the demands of their power and uh, the demands of their celebrity. If you uh, haven't already watched the first episode, please go back and watch that one to get a sense of, wh of who these characters are and, and what we're doing. Um, we're going to do a, a quick cycle around the table uh, to introduce yourself uh, uh, and your character. Um, and then we're going to jump right back into the action. So let us start with our first mind player. Uh, hello, my name is Tony Cheek, he, him, and I am playing Mailman. All right, let's move on to our next mind player. Hi there, I'm Jordan Fishburne, she, her, and I am playing Jamboree. Let's move on to our next mind you player. You can't stop giggling about it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sarah Babe, she, they, and I am playing Event Horizon. Let's move on to our next mind player. Hello, my name is Ethan Exon Anderson, he, him, and I am playing Goop. <laughs> and our final mind player of the evening. Hi, I'm Tawny P. Thompson, she, hers, and I am playing Stars and Stripes. So when we last left our Novas, they had been invited to the premiere, uh, 100th episode premiere party of Stunted. Um, now, our Novas are uh, part of a uh, TV show called Life and Times, which is more of a, you know, hangout reality show along the lines of the real world or the uh, real housewives of... Big Brother. Wherever, Big Brother. Whereas... Well, Big Brother's a contest. Isn't this? It's a, it's a little of both. Uh, Stunted is a... Uh, show along the lines of Jackass or Wild Boys, where the uh, the superpowered people put their bodies on the line to do ridiculous things like jump out of airplanes or boop a rhino on the nose or, you know, various things that normal people would die doing. I want to boop a rhino on the nose. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. I they, feel like you maybe don't. They do have very boopable snoots. They do. Um, Hippos, on the other hand, no, those things are crazy. So, um, we cut to the, the, uh, penthouse setup for the party and it, and it is, uh, a, uh, a much different scene than the, the charming rural, uh, town of Adler that you were in earlier, uh, during the day. Um. Oh, I. Uh, the one that was on fire? Yes. Um. <laughs> okay. And yeah, that works. this. Yeah. Confirm. This, this has. Uh, pretty people of both the baseline and Nova persuasion. Baselines being regular people who don't have powers, um, uh, and some you know celebrities of varying degrees. Nobody that's you know worldwide, but definitely people from the network. And well, you know, I mean, I mean, you guys are probably actually my, my you guys and the stunted people are probably the um. The, the most famous people at this particular party. And it has, you know, um, very pretty people, very tiny, elaborate food, and um, one of those edge... Uh, oh, the infinity pools? Yeah, the infinity pools. Um, and I think that it... Like... like the, the decor is emergency room chic. Oh. Like there's like okay. crutches, like like they hired like artists to like do like crutch installations, so it's like um or like <laughs> Sarah's the LARPing one this time, everybody. <laughs> um But also like the gift the gift baskets have like like Casts that have like Swarovski crystals paved on them, and, and oh like my that. god, mailman, mm -hmm. stars and stripes. Mm -hmm. I want you both to give me a cunning plus culture roll. Could be worse. Are we like looking at the art or anything? This is just to see who you notice that is here. Okay. Oh my god! Ooh. One uh, success. With my 
two dice, I got two successes. Well, damn, son. <laughs> so that means that you... With my five this. dice, I got one success. <laughs> Uh, that there is a member of the, or that there is a, uh, an agent of the DeVries agency here. The DeVries agency is the most, uh, famous, some might even say infamous, um, organization that recruits, uh, elites. Uh, now elites are most commonly known for their mercenary work, um, but they also do corporate recruiting as well. So if you're looking for a uh, a gig as a Nova, you probably want to talk to one of these agents. Okay. Um, I, you did you fail? I got one success. Okay. So did I? Uh, so you noticed first, so you can decide whether or not you want to incorporate uh, uh, stars and stripes into the into the scene or not. Uh, I will. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I might regret this. <laughs> Might. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I say like, okay, well, we need to schmooze, I guess. So. Oh, who who are we schmoozing? Well, the the agents are over there. Oh shit, man! I didn't even notice. Yeah. Um, I don't really want to be here in the first mm -hmm, place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you want to talk? Oh, you, is uh, it a good idea that I talk? No, I mean I, I could. Yeah. Um, hang on. Let's get drinks first. We're gonna bring that guy a drink. Yeah? So it, it's a yeah. woman. Ah. We're gonna bring that the... lady a drink, uh huh, uh -huh. and yeah. and then we'll talk at her. Short, uh, like chin length hair, uh, okay. blonde. Um, okay. Uh, wearing kind of the power blazer. Okay. Is is, I am actually pretty good at talking. Yeah. I was led to believe that one of your powers was southern charm. Is that? Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, yes. I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> I didn't. I, it was in your file. <laughs> All right. Well. Anyhow. Um. Can I, like, kind of try to eyeball what she's drinking so that I can get her another of whatever it is she's drinking? Okay. Before we walk over. Uh, her yeah. extra schmooziness. Uh, yeah. You can spend your, um, the, the success that you had on that. And okay. like, oh, I'll pick up one of those. Um, you, uh, so you and Mailman go over to the bar. Uh, let's see. Whiskey Cosmopolitan. Meat. Oh, whiskey neat. Yeah. Okay. I like her. All right. And this massive hand is like, yes, ma'am. You recognize the bartender. I do. It's mailman. Oh, oh <laughs> no, mail man. <laughs> and he is a '90s Rob Leefield nightmare come to life. <laughs> right. All bulges. Right. Some of the which could be pockets. You don't really know. <laughs> oh. Um, with lots of tea. You no really. Hands. You really went Leafield. That's tiny feet. Disturbing. Tiny, tiny. Well, one of the one of the the <laughs> the head headgear pieces, so he doesn't have to draw ears. Hey, um, that was some classic stuff with the '90s. Okay. <laughs> hey, like, man, thanks. Like, yeah. like, like, like he picks up a pint glass like it's a shot glass. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, Y'all got and any legs? He's not, and he, he's dressed like instead of you know, like most bartenders at, at these events are like you know, black pants, white shirt. He's got like kind of the Chippendales cuffs going. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. I am, I am picturing Chris Farley. Thank you so much. Like Rob. he's violating the restraining order. Isn't it, like think like think of the like think of the 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 most obnoxiously roided up wrestler you can from like the 1980s and it's like that. I'm still picturing Chris Farley. Okay, Chris Farley roided up, whatever. That's Chris, <laughs> I mean Chris Farley roided up is like a dangerous kind. <laughs> In his own way, he's he is also a Nova. Hey, don't I know you? No. <laughs> hey man, what's up? Can I get a whiskey uh neat and then y'all got any like just like bud it like normal, just regular beer? Um Yeah, we got some uh we got some stuff on on, on tap here, and he like picks up the, the, the tap and Perfect. Mailman, what what uh what you looking for? Mailman? Damn it. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh yeah. Mail I'm stars and straps. That's mailman. Nice I'm to meet mailman. You. No no no. His name is Mailman. Yeah, I'm mailman. Have fun with this. Goes on for a while. No, but his name is is it that's mailman. Yeah. And I'm you are Mailman. No no. 
That's Mailman, and you are Mailman. Okay, That's well, the name that right. I wanted. Let but me I try can't... one more time. I'm Stars and Straps. Who's on first? What's That's on second? That's Mailman. I don't know who's on third. And you are. My Nova name is Mailman because I'm the ultimate male. Oh! <laughs> male! Man. Yeah, and I always get confused for this guy. I could see how that might, um... Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's why I haven't been able to score any gigs. You try to sue him yet, or...? Oh, I have tried. Okay, all right. I think you... Have, well, you tell me. Have you succeeded? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have tried, and I have failed. Part of me was hoping Mailman was just a really scrawny guy with just a huge dick. <laughs> 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 then he, well, then he'd be like, like, like the Dong Master or yeah. something. Cock knocker. <laughs> um... Magna cock. Yeah. Well, sorry for that doll. Legally uh, distinct Magna cock. <laughs> right. uh, all of that confusion there. That was that was my bad, clearly. <laughs> yep. Uh, so this is weird now. Yeah. So this you're is weird. so you're bartending here. Uh huh. Are you? Why uh, did you? Are you not? Were you not invited? Were you? Is this like a gig or? No, I just enjoy bartending. I mean, oh, that's, that's a that's, nice hobby to have. Fair, I mean, yeah. yeah, good for you, yeah. man. Find the things that make you happy and do them. Do you not understand sarcasm? I, it kind of depends on... You're not doing the sarcasm thing very well. I did understand so. the sarcasm, but I chose to ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, um... So, yeah, I haven't been able to, to book any gigs because they won't let me use the mailman name. Because they think that it's spelled wrong. You think I misspell my own name when I submit my uh, when I submit my paperwork? I mean, wouldn't you be happier if your name was something like Alpha Male? There you go. That's a good one. That is a good one. Yeah. Do I do I have an alphabet on me? <laughs> I mean, you could. Anybody got a sharpie? Do you have any tattoos hidden? No, bro. My body is my temple. Right, and, 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 he, and he starts to like, he starts to, to 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 flex a little bit. Do women start fainting? Um, a few of them do. Like, like he starts to to draw a bit of a crowd because he does have a little bit of mega mega charisma. Did, what about Schwarzenegger? Is he pissed? Like, are you encro? Is he encroaching on his like Mister Olympia ness? Schwarzenegger is like seventy, dude. Yeah, but he's still like I. I still wouldn't fuck with with Schwarzenegger. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want to get in a fight with that guy. Same. You want to drink? Cut to <laughs> so much for the schmoozing. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Goop? Could be used my only pickup line. Oh, boy. and uh, women as I meet him. Which one's that? Uh, that's. I know I'm not much to look at, but I can fill any hole. Oh, no. Oh. Stop. That's amazing. Oh. Gross. That's also a headline. Goop accused of sexual <laughs> harassment. <laughs> um, go ahead and give me a... I can't I can believe... fit your needs. I can't believe mm. I'm having you do this, but I'm going to do, do it anyway. Uh, manipulation plus empathy. How's that going to go for you? Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I got this one. <laughs> for podcast listeners, that's a single die. What did it roll? Only <laughs> rolled a one. Oh, that's a botch. <laughs> so that gives you two momentum die. Noise. Oh, my God. Um, Confidence plus utter failure equals <laughs> and you get, anybody watching Goop sees him get slapped so hard it reverberates through his entire body. <laughs> like imagine hitting a like like a like oh, a like no. a jug Giant full of pebble. Oh god! And just <laughs> it's like belly flopping right now. <laughs> and then that's basically what I do. I just walk over the pool. Flop into it face first, and then just slowly morph so I'm floating my back. <laughs> That's uh, I love that for you. Like I mean it, I love that for you. 
<laughs> when we were when we were talking about this character, I was like, I totally that I'm like, just get weird with it. Like, um, when when you're you 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 come up to the surface, uh, there is a um a gentleman kind of standing over uh and, and leaning uh over you. He's got um the like the the, the vest and and coat, but um. The, the open open collar um his hair is, is is slicked back and he uh has a uh um a drink that he's okay are you able are you able to drink this yep i lift up my leg it transforms into a hand and reaches up and grabs it and brings it back to me <laughs> why are you such a creep <laughs> am i the only one who's not creeped out by it like this is amazing I, think I feel bad. Good. I feel bad for whoever married this guy. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna suck. And while still floating, you know, I just kind of stretch up and drink it. <laughs> like your neck just kind of goes. Yep. Oh my so god! You're, like, you're still floating on your yep. back, but your head is like here and yep. drinking. <laughs> yeah, your head just like instead of stretching, it just like moves along your torso. Oh! <laughs> oh. I love goop. <laughs> oh my god. I think it, I think it's worth saying that if you don't already know, Goop and Stars and Stripes are married in real life. <laughs> <laughs> um, amazing! I've never seen somebody with uh, the mastery of your abilities that you have. I mean, I have seen other. Uh, Novas who are able to transmogrify their, their their bodies, but your control is is quite stunning. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, my name is is uh, Peter Holmstein. Other foot. Nice to meet you. Not evil. Definitely not evil. I was wondering. If you would be interested in a business opportunity. Depends on the business. Well, um, I am the, uh, the creator uh, of a website called uh, Lonely Masks. <laughs> oh, no. Say no more. Oh, no. <laughs> so is this a dating site for Novas? Uh, <laughs> not exactly. Oh. Uh, we... Um, encourage our clientele to express the beauty of their form in uh, uh, various ways. Oh no. It's porn. Oh, Nova porn. It's Wait. it's only fans, but for <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can do that. Oh man, excellent. Well, I I have to say, sometimes it requires a bit of convincing for um, people to. To realize the the business potential of uh, what uh, has been given to them, but you seem very nonplussed by the idea. I mean, I guess technically you aren't even necessarily performing nude. Um, you, I mean, frankly, you could probably. How good are you at replicating other forms? I can get a general shape. But, like, exact detail isn't exactly a strength. A low grade He's gonna grade make you a printer. giant... thing! <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I think we can say the word penis on our show. I didn't want to yell it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how gifts get made. <laughs> Looking at you, Lan. Well, let, let me ask... Uh, let me ask you, uh... uh goop, was it? Yes. What would you be comfortable doing in front of other people? My my honest thought was it would sort of be like feet pics where I wouldn't be doing shit and people would just be taking pictures of, you know. <laughs> It'd be feet pics. It'd be like 16 feet. Yeah, but like, <laughs> but like I'm just laying there doing nothing. And I was like, hey, <laughs> throw an extra thing over there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Um, what are you doing at the party, Evie? I am probably <gasps> right now. I'm probably trying to be as civil as I can around the massive amounts of people that have 
congregated around me trying to get my attention. Okay. Because I am devilishly good looking. Do you have mega charisma too? I'm sorry. Uh, they call it mega presence. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of. How do I not have mega presence? <laughs> I mean, I think you took something that said you were extremely beautiful. Isn't that one of your edges? I did, yeah. I've yeah. got devilishly good looking and. Oh, I have that one too. Striking at two. <laughs> So I think you have like th- there are a couple of uh, um, uh, media folks there who are you know doing some light questioning. Nothing like it's not like a full sit down. Mm-hmm. I think one of them does like and it's going okay, but finally somebody does ask you a, a tougher question because it's about um, a member of the Terrigen, okay, uh, by the name of Count Oraziz, and he's kind of one of the faces of the movement. Oraziz. Mm-hmm. And uh, she asks. Um, what are your thoughts on um, Count Oraziz's a recent statement uh, that um, Team Tomorrow uh, is brainwashing uh, Novas <clears throat> against their will into doing um, what he calls um, baseline scut work? Ooh. Who the fuck is Team Tomorrow again? It was a. It's a oh, team. It's a team so, okay, so, I team, I so team tomorrow right. is the is the basically the Justice League slash Avengers of this world. Right, 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 right. Legally, team tomorrow, tomorrow is, is the teen is the younger version. Okay, are they saying also the legally teen ones are? Um, I think he just said team tomorrow. Okay. Like basically, he's saying Nova shouldn't be taking orders from non Nova people. And and you are known as a member of the Terrigen. Right, right. I think that is a very unique opinion for him to have. After all, we're, we all live on the same planet. We all have the same interests in keeping the planet properly managed in order to keep all of our lives together. I mean... When it comes down to it, are any of us really below any sort of work? I put my bra on one boob at a time, just like you. (laughs) (laughs) What do you mean by managed? Oh, simply like managing the climate crisis right now. You know, we all want the Earth to be in its finest shape in order for everyone to have the best life they can have. What? I said I hate her so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you what is your best life as a member of the Terrigen? Oh, I don't really it, I don't. It's uh, You would laugh if I told you. <laughs> well, we're I just want to get to the point where I can not worry about my fellow Novas. And the humans that are on this planet and just have a ranch out in the middle of Montana, maybe, and rescue senior dogs. And- <laughs> you're you're afraid of us? No, 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 no. I'm not afraid, silly. I just want to make sure everyone is safe. Well, from the things that hurt us. <laughs> what are you doing, Jamboree? I feel like in my effort to be a show stealer, I would be putting on a light show. Um, kind of helping out like uh glow lights in the pool and uh like uh like chilling with the DJ and putting on like a synchronized Yeah, like a chill like he gives me a couple seconds head start like into the music so i kind of have that idea of what's coming up to fully sync the beat um just like kind of wandering around the party doing like odds and ends stuff like that um so i think uh johnny catches up with you Mm -hmm. um and he's like hey 
I really appreciate you guys coming out and helping us promote the 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 show like I know that you that I got the feeling that most of you wanted to stay out at the um at the wildfires and help out there but of course I mean a lot of people forget that there's a lot of cross promotion that comes up with being a Nova and doing a whole lot of stuff you know you are fighting fires one minute the next minute you're kissing babies it's you gotta do it all yeah yeah you gotta you definitely gotta do it all man I mean I've been doing this show for five years and uh, Almost 100 episodes. That's a great milestone. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's really great. Is something going on, Johnny? Well, I didn't think I'd still be doing stunts for a living. I thought I'd, I don't know. Are you trying to break into a team or are you just trying well, to diversify? <sighs> team Tomorrow isn't going to look at, or yeah, Team Tomorrow isn't going to look at me because of my public persona i mean evie would be more likely to get picked by uh by them as me because they'd probably see her as like a you know an olive branch out to the to the terrigen folks do but, i know his exact powers exactly what i was wondering yeah um give me a like super durability i'm guessing he jumped out of a plane but uh intelligence plus culture you got nothing in there <laughs> or intellect. Uncultured I'm swine. <laughs> intellect. This is gonna go really cool. Uh, I, great. I'm gonna roll two die, is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> You're gonna do great. Kyria all over again. Oh, God. <laughs> this is just a curse now. Whenever Sarah talks to me before I roll, is it? That's a five and a five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. You assume some sort of okay. mega stamina just because he fell out of a, a heli uh, out of a, a, f a frogger, but you've never actually watched stunted no. ever. I've like catch like like caught some clips online because I heard that he was like this morning when I was doing my makeup, I was playing like best clips from stunted, blah mm -hmm. blah. I'm like. And they were all two tube or whatever it is <laughs> called in this universe. <laughs> no, but tube legally, dis legally distinct. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, blue tube. Blue tube. <laughs> uh, they were all so dumb, and it was all frat boy like, you know, I'm gonna run around in my underwear and they're gonna use a flamethrower on me, kind of stuff. Okay. While you're thinking, let's go back to your scene. Uh, the male man's. Well, I figure you, I'm assuming you walked Mailman. away. Yeah, I, I walked away. Okay, good. You started talking about the, now? started talking about like the yeah. lonely Nova's yeah. thing. And I was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> um, do we walk over to, okay. We walk over to the other, to the, the elite to the lady. Agent? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I straighten my bolo tie. Uh, and then I walk over and I go, looks like you were drinking a whiskey neat there. Yes, I was. Uh, it looks like you need a refresher. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm Stars and Stripes. This is my good buddy, Mailman. M-A-I-L. Yes, the, oh. the good one. I just learned there were two. This, this is the good one. No, what, that, that is... I actually have something that um, might help with that. Uh, I'm Sandra Lockman. Oh. DeVries Agency. DeVries! So you're the... You're the you deliver the you have the you have the deal with USPS, right? Yep. United States Postal S Service. <laughs> I was gonna say system, and I was like, and that's not it. <laughs> United States Postal System. I have all their albums. Trademark, um, trademark, trademark. <laughs> well, I have a client mm -hmm. who's looking for somebody to uh, be their spokesperson that you'd be an excellent fit for. Okay. I guess. Well, the question is, like, how, um, how malleable are your, your, your powers? Because, like, you kind of have a, like, you have, you have a definite style and, and distinct thing, right? Well, yeah, you I mean. The, the, the little, the, the paper guy? Yeah, the paper, the paper boy. Yeah, he's real cute. 
She is completely ignoring yeah, me yeah. at this point. That's why I'm trying to. I know. I'm, d- I'm just letting you know that that is acting as opposed to just me being like. <laughs> um. <laughs> How would you like to be FedEx man? Oh, damn. Hmm. You'd have to change up your 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 color family over there with that. You could uh, finally be part of there. the X Men. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I don't think that'll work for me. You see, I, I I have a deep a deep connection with the USPS, and my integrity is very high. Yeah, he does that whole nor rain nor wind thing. That's not how it goes. <laughs> Close. <laughs> We can work with that. My clients are, are they really want a Nova spokesperson. And I actually, I was hoping that I would meet you here tonight to, to discuss this. I, I don't, don't brush me off just because you have a connection to your current employer. I mean, what can I do to entice you to make my client your new employer is it money? It's not money. Is it is it uh, training facilities? It's, it's aspirations. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that I have goals, ma'am, and those goals do not involve FedEx. Why not? Can FedEx make me postmaster general? What? That would be pretty fucking dope, man. Being the postmaster general, right. I- I'd take it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> also, them there, government pensions, you know, they're real good. I mean, the only real oh, thing. Don't give me. Mm. <laughs> Last time I checked. It's a world of fantasy, Sarah. Calm down. Sorry, sorry. I've got to... Don't talk about it. <laughs> Last time I checked, the only thing FedEx has going for it is it saved Tom Hanks on an island. <laughs> Man, you know that was a movie, right? <laughs> I'm aware. Thank, right. thank you, Stars and Stripes. I'm, I'm just making sure. Thank you, Stars you and Stripes. You said it with such conviction. Thank you, Stars and Stripes. <laughs> so, uh, Sandra, what other kinds of um, what other kinds of sponsorship deals do you oh. broker? Give me a manipulation plus command roll here. Difficulty of three. Do you have any bonuses to your command stuff? I have two on command. Could I also... I have... Ooh, members only would be a good one here. That's on page 48. Um... So, the character understands how groups come together and support each other and can use that knowledge to great effect. Char- character may spend one momentum to gain a... Fe- oh, I don't have momentum. We all have momentum. Oh, okay. yeah. To gain the effects of a bond with another character. This temporary bond only lasts for one action. I'll, I'll save it. I'll save... We should save the momentum for yeah, actual fights, momentum. right? It's a lot of momentum. But, like, fights later burn and stuff. Mine all right, I'm gonna burn one, then. This way we can see what it does before. Right. <laughs> we true. have to use it in the look up what bon- Let me look up bonds here really quick, too. Woo! Woo! Oh, ho, ho, ho. How many? Five. Successes. Thank goodness we burned that. <laughs> That's good. You've got a friendship bond with the agent. He's my new bud. Uh, Don't worry, buddy. I'll I'll get her off your back. That uh, has a two enhancement. That means that if you convince her to do something and you succeed, you you can use this to then get uh, two more successes. Basically, the the basic basic way this game works is you roll your dice, you hit the target number, and anything left over, you buy like additional stuff with those successes. And these enhancements and complications are kind of like coupons for later ones mm-hmm. um you're wait a minute you're you, you strike me as familiar i mean i'm i'm stars and stripes oh the cocaine gator Coke gator yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah you i saw you on that episode of secret origins yeah 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 uh, actually if you look at my bolo tie right here you'll see 
That is a little bit of skin oh. from the Coke Gator. Oh. Named him Freddy. Okay. Uh, at, before I killed him. I don't... Hey, Tawny. Give me a danger sense roll. Ooh. There's a gator behind you. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> so I haven't rolled for an edge. I just roll those three dice. You make a uh, when you back survival up. plus cunning roll. Survival plus cunning. Okay, so that's two successes, but I also got three ones. I mean, make sure. <laughs> Here's Is the there a critical failure system? <laughs> there are. And it's usually if you roll more ones than you have dice, or like at least half of your dice turn up as one. Uh, I think that's Slightly more exactly. than half of my dice turned up as ones. I feel like you actually have to roll all zeros for it to be a critical fail. <laughs> well, it it used to be in the long, long ago, the before time. The before uh, days. You, you would, basically every one would soak up a success. Oh. And then if you had ones that were left over, then it was a botch. But that basically ran into the math issue of, yes, I have a bunch of dice. Oh, well, that also means I have a way more chance of rolling a bunch of ones. Mm -hmm. So in this version of the rules, they uh, changed that. Because this is this is a new adaptation of these the classic uh, White Wolf system that they sort of... So basically, I know that there's something wrong here, <laughs> but uh, I can't avoid it. Should have asked mailmen what direction it was coming from <laughs> <laughs> left right or center <laughs> okay well the good news is is that it's not a botch because uh you have to have zero successes and okay then roll a one okay i'll take like, it because like, that's what ethan did when he was over there um so two successes then <laughs> how does your danger sense manifest itself um I think, uh, I like, think is it just, a spidey like, sense? A, is a it a spidey flash? Tangle, um, on, a gator sense. A, a, gator, a gator tangle. <laughs> my gator tangle. No, 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 no. Your bolo tie starts going back and forth. My gator tangle. You no, I think it, when did you turn into Crocodile Dundee? <laughs> <laughs> Not a nap. Crocodile is much different than gators, honey. <laughs> that's a nap. Um, maybe that's how it manifests is that you kind of like you hear the sound of of the gator before it's like like you kind of flash back a little mm -hmm. bit. You start to get that tingle just as uh, Johnny Ho uh, kind of stands up on the diving board. Uh, uh, to the infinity pool, and he and he's like, everyone, everyone, mailman, 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 my gator tingles, tingling. I don't need to know that. That's TMI. <laughs> no, you don't. I, something's about to happen. Uh, everyone, everyone, thank you all for coming out. I am so excited that we are able, we are here to enjoy the hundredth episode. Of stunted. I am absolutely ready to tackle Johnny Ho if I have to. Okay. I get a clap started, so he has some applause going for the milestone. Yeah, the, 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 and you, <laughs> yeah. you do get a, a, a moderate thing. What's most important isn't that we made it to 100 episodes, but we also became a family. And and I love each and every one of you dudes. Like, you were of my own bloodline. And, and, and I'm so happy to work with people who I uh, can trust and who I can uh, who I can help out and, and, and build up in as many ways as as possible. That's when you see the fast moving human sized blur coming towards him. Can I tackle it? You can try. Yeah. So go ahead and give me a <clears throat> Dexterity plus close combat. It's just somebody going to pant them. Just your 12 <laughs> dice. <laughs> Four successes. Okay. Um, they have two successes, but they have mega stamina of three. False. I don't have that. Okay. So that means that they then have four successes. Six successes 
eight successes compared to you. Rude. Great. Damn. Uh, Tackling isn't going to go well. You jump at the at, at, at the flying person and you, you you do tackle them, but you're pulled along for the ride oh, as he uh, as he slams into Johnny and sends Johnny spinning out over the edge of the building. And then, so now we 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 end with the the image of. Stars and stripes kind of sprawled out on the the, the deck of the pool, and uh, the Nova that has just entered the scene, uh, looking down at you with with contempt, even though they're wearing a um, a full face mask, which generally denotes an elite who is uh, a mercenary. Yes, given that you were in the pool, Johnny was jumped out of a plane. Should we assume he's fine? We'll deal with that <laughs> next time. <laughs> um, God dang it! Rub. As the uh, the elite looks down on you with his um, black and white style American flag mask. Oh, oh cheesy, crazy! And he's 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 got the build and the dress of Rambo with like the black tank top and and camo pants and combat boots and he looks down at you uh, with contempt and says who do you think you are? Oh hey man, <laughs> I'm stars and straps <laughs> Well I'm Fubar <laughs> So are you Oh so good <laughs> And that is where we end our episode tonight <laughs> We'll be back for the thrilling conclusion to uh, Aberrant <laughs> next week. So until then, uh, just remember, just repeat to yourself, it's only a game. I should really just relax. Congratulations, fellow human. You've reached the end of an exciting episode of Theater of the Mind Players. If you enjoyed our story, please like the video. If you want more games, subscribe to our channel. Attack the bell for notifications on new posts. If you liked the episode, please tell us what you enjoyed the most in the comments. If you loved the episode, consider joining our Patreon. You'll get access to special shows, session zeros, and help us determine what we play on the show. We love our friends of Pat Rayon, and we hope to see you there. I hope you were going to say what kind of other what other kind of packages are you into? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is how horny this game is going. Um, what sort of packages you need delivered? We got a shapeshifter. Yeah. Yeah.